This video explains how to exclude certain predictors from a regression model using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines two to seven of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data set is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data set. And as you can see, our data frame contains four columns, whereby the first three columns, x1, x2, and x3, will be used as predictors for our model, and the column y will be used as the target variable. Now, if we want to estimate a linear regression model based on these data, we can use the lm function, as you can see in line nine of the code. And within the lm function, we need to specify our target variable y. And then we need to specify a tilde. And after the tilde, we can use a dot to specify that we want to use all the predictors in our data frame. And then we also need to specify the name of our data set. So in this case, our data set is called data. And then I'm storing the output of the LM function in a new model object that I'm calling mod1. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that this model object is appearing at the top right. And then we can print the summary statistics for this model using line 10 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that a huge output is returned in the RStudio console. And this output contains the coefficients for each of our predictor variables x1, x2, and x3. So as you can see, in this case, we have used all the predictor variables in our data frame to build our regression model. However, it's also possible to exclude certain predictors explicitly within the LM function. And this is what I want to show you in the next example in line 12 of the code. So in this line of code, I'm once again using the LM function. Within this function, I'm once again specifying the target variable y, a tilde, and a dot. However, then after the dot, I'm using the minus operator to exclude the column x1, and once again, the minus operator to exclude the column x3. And then I'm storing the output of the LM function in another model object called mod2. So if you run line 12 of the code, this second model object mod2 is appearing at the top right. And we can apply the summary function to this model once again, as you can see in line 13 of the code. And then another regression output is created. And as you can see this time, only the coefficient for the column x2 is shown because we have excluded the columns x1 and x3 from our model. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.